Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain fruits composition from class 5 page number 7. Draw and color a composition using the fruits given in the border. So composition means you should arrange the fruits given fruits in according to the size, according to the perspective, okay, by overlapping each other. So how it will be there I am saying. So first to see that in that big fruit is watermelon. How it is there slanting way. First take one slanting line. So this watermelon drawing we should draw big size because it is a big fruit. So you have to make it big size. If you do this one small size you need to make it the banana, grapes very small. So because of that you have to make this big size fruit little big size the watermelon. See that the curve first slanting line edit afterwards one curve next another side curve the drawing try to do it very lightly don't use the pencil okay very hardly harshly don't do because that impression should not be on the book when you erase any painting any drawing drawing should be you have to do it very lightly always it's easy to erase now draw the stem afterwards see that curves on that okay the directions it's important see the directions which direction it is there just to make it like a zigzag lines not too much don't do too much zigzag just a light curves line and make it double that Now we will draw that cherries side of the watermelon. Okay. So here when you are drawing cherries you have to see the size because watermelon side of the watermelon if you keep cherries how it looks. Okay. The size is important that is only perspective. Okay. So take two stems and just to draw one simple circle see that the cherry what I am drawing that is overlapped by watermelon because of that you are not able to see the complete cherry there. So see that you have to maintain that overlapping. Overlapping technique you should follow here. So now here I am selecting banana. Banana I am making to overlap watermelon. Okay. First which places which place we should draw the banana the placement of the banana I am taking. So banana curve I taken which shape it is there. So just a small circle small circle from there take one curve. See that curve you take when curve doing time see that how much height it should go now stem brother stem first you do the banana then afterwards you erase that overlapping places okay after doing that downside one curve it's like a half circle half curve so see that stems you draw now Two bananas are there. So another banana it is there. Nothing but just to make it double that banana outer line. See that above line is there. No, that one I am making into double. So that is the easy technique to draw the 
two bananas or three bananas how many bananas you want you can draw so now make one small circle just down side you attach this curve because this front side banana is overlapping back side banana so because of that we cannot see that banana now erase whatever the lines watermelon lines you are seeing why we are erasing that watermelon lines because banana is front side that watermelon is back side so banana is overlapping the watermelon overlapping means covering little place it's covering so see that now we select orange okay orange is circle shape so make one circle very lightly so do it one side c and reverse c both together if you join it will become circle no problem it's not exact circle if you will not do also nothing will happen because it is a orange fruit not ball so upside just to draw one curves above that now we are drawing grapes side of watermelon above the orange so grapes don't do too much big grapes are smaller than cherries you make it so one circle overlapping each other you see that then only it look like a bunch of grapes so see here now what am what are the grape i am drawing that is overlapped by the watermelon and overlapped by the front grape because of that we are not able to see that complete circle don't do very small okay so cherries you did know than that little small so now another grape see that how i am overlapping each other don't do all circles it don't looks good because if you will observe the grapes how it looks one time you see practically when you will see these all things you will understand once the drawing is completed see that how we composed the given fruits it's called composition so after completing that take the black sketch or black color pencil or black color crayon you sharp it little with that you do the outline so when you are doing outline maintain that on the line it should come and single line don't do double lines when you are doing the black outline don't do double lines single line try to make it the black outline will give beauty to the drawing once the drawing is completed erase the complete pencil lines okay so what will happen it will remove the complete pencil impressions so now you take the chrome yellow 
medium yellow or chrome yellow means dark yellow you take and do that zigzag lines are there no that one you color and i'm giving the yellow effects because watermelon is a combination of light green dark green and yellow so yellow effects i'm giving whenever i'll say effects you have to do it lightly not to do it darkly now you take the dark green and see which places it is there dark green because every place you should not fill dark green side of the zigzag lines and some places you give the dark green effect when you are doing dark green some places you have to do it darkly some places you have to do it lightly Once the dark green is completed, take the light green, do it everywhere darkly. Okay? Do it everywhere darkly because this is we are using plastic crayons. So plastic crayon can overlap everywhere, but it won't overlap the colors. Oil pastel means it's different technique, but this is with plastic crayon. So you can do it darkly everywhere. It will cover the leftover white gaps. now we'll do the grapes so one side you give the light green effect very lightly effect i said here so light green every grape individually you do it don't do for all grapes at a time okay every individual grape you give the effect like that now you take chrome yellow or medium yellow any dark yellow and apply roundly this is also do it for every individual grape after completing the grapes we will do banana okay so for banana you take first light green and give effects in the middle line is there no lightly give effect effects of light green after this light green you take brown very small places you have to give the effect and it should not be darkly when i said effects you have to do it very lightly not to use pressure on that colors so see that brown very light effect brown
సేమ్ ఆఫ్టర్వర్స్ టేక్ ద డార్క్ ఎల్లో ఆర్ డీప్ ఎల్లో అండ్ డూ ఇట్ డార్క్లీ సో ద బనానా ఈస్ వెన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ రా వి హ్యావ్ టు యూస్ ద లైట్ గ్రీన్ మోర్ వెన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ రైట్ వి హ్యావ్ టు యూస్ ద బ్రౌన్ మోర్ అండ్ డీప్ ఎల్లో ఓకే now we'll do orange so before going to color that orange take yellow and give effects so when you are doing orange coloring do it in half circle way circle way coloring so yellow effects i'm giving here after giving that yellow effects you take the orange and color it in half circle way see that how i'm handling the colors so take the orange and do it everywhere nicely darkly finally you take yellow and just to do it again everywhere on the orange now we are coming to cherries so i'm taking the pink color and giving effects okay light effects with the pink color afterwards take red color primary red color and do it nicely darkly everywhere circle shape stems you take light green and just fill it when you are doing this small areas sharp the light green and color all the stems light green then afterwards you take the yellow and in that leaves one side you do yellow just one side you do yellow and afterwards take the dark green and do it completely it is clear for you so drawing and coloring of fruits